everyone. Shantakai sent over their new fall collection. This is the fall 2021 collection. They are in collaboration with the Sujin Tiger and Leopard Conservation. This is the project that helps protect and preserve the future of these magnificent cats in the wild. So this collection includes two new luminescent eye shades in Tiger and Leopard, along with their best-selling lip sheiks in two new shades. They've also included an eye kajal, so we're going to create a couple of looks with these, and we're of course gonna do eye swatches, and let's check this collection out. Let's go ahead and get started. So yesterday when I went to pick up this package, I also had another little goodie at my P.O. box, and I wanna unbox it and share it with you, but first of all, look at how pretty the packaging is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just thought it was too cute not to share and I didn't open it intentionally because I was like, I want to share it with you. So this little package was sent to me from Designs by D. I'll have all her information and Instagram linked for you down below so you can check her out. This is so pretty and delicate and dainty. We have to put them on. Ah! So D, the owner, she hand makes the jewelry and she made this for me and thank you so much. Quick little backstory, as I'm just gonna clean these off with alcohol. We met through Instagram <laughs> many, many years ago and she was my first friend on there with, um, you know, when I started doing my makeup Instagram posts. <laughs> so this is so sweet, so pretty. So it works out because I don't have any jewelry on today. Such a pretty and dainty little piece. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel so much more complete now. Eyebrows and earrings. I'm ready to go. <laughs> she even included this really pretty pendant. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, let's get into these Chantikai goodies. Let's start off with the two new luminescent eye shades. Again, we have Tiger and leopard. So these two shadows were created in support of the crucial work that the Sujin Tiger and Leopard Conservation does. Quick little information about the cause so that you understand every purchase of one of these luminescent eye shades is going towards helping support a wonderful cause. Through this collaboration on our India's Vanishing Species Luminescent Eye Shades, Shantikai directly gives back to their important conservation work. Not only do you get absolutely beautiful eyeshadows, you're giving back and helping with these beautiful animals. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Chantikai's luminescent eye shades, they are pearlescent light catching eyeshadows that wash the eye with multi-dimensional shimmer. These shades in particular are inspired by India's green jungles and rocky mountain habitats of endangered tigers and leopards. Here's my current collection of their luminescent eye shades. I think they're absolutely fabulous and I'm so excited to see these in action. So let's start off with Tiger. The shade Tiger is described as a regal emerald. So inside you are gonna get a beautiful little pamphlet. I always love getting these and you know, taking some time to just flip through them. And just like the, just like the outer packaging, the eyeshadow itself has it to match. And then you've got the little Chantikai here up front. Beautiful details all around. So opening up your luminescent eyeshade, you do get a nice mirror. And I know it's a small eyeshadow, but the mirror is very functional. So you have that. And this is what the shade Tiger looks like. It is such a beautiful green shade, isn't it? I'll give you a quick swatch. Absolutely beautiful, oh my goodness. Yes. And then next up we have Leopard, which is described as a wild bronze. And here's the beautiful Leopard. Beautiful shades, aren't they? Hi camera, I'm over here. <laughs> so here are the two new luminescent eye shades. 
so pretty. Can't wait to get these on the eyes. So let's go ahead and do some lid swatches with these two shades. So for my first application, I am going in with a more fluffy brush. This is a rougher number one. I'm going to just softly blend this onto the lid. And just like that, you have a beautiful bronzed lid, a soft one and done. This is the rougher number two. And just build up the intensity. If you just wanted something a little bit more. All right, so on this eye, we use a more fluffy brush with the shade Leopard. And then on this eye, we use a little bit more of a packing brush for a little bit more intensity. But that is what the shade Leopard looks like applied to the lids. Let's go into the shade Tiger with a fluffy brush. This is the refer number one. We're going to apply a soft wash on the lid. And now for the other eye, I'm going to go in with a refer number two, more of a packing brush to apply. And here we have the shade Tiger applied. We went in with a more fluffy brush for a little bit more of a softer, as soft as you're gonna get with this beautiful emerald green on the lid here. And then a more packing brush for this one. Let's create two looks with these new luminescent eye shades, and then we'll do something with the eye kajal. I'm gonna do something fun, okay? Going into the shade Leopard on my refer number one and I'm going to softly just dust that all over the lid and whatever's left on the brush will bring it in the crease this will be our softer eye of the two looks I really enjoy these little mirrors I never thought that I would just because I figured they were just little small mirrors but these are actually so functional no products on the brush, maybe a little leftover residue, but I'm just taking that and blending my edges. Nice and soft and diffused. So I'm going in with my Shantikai Future Skin Gel Foundation. I use the shade Banana. I did already prep my skin with my usual, the anti-pollution mattifying cream. That's not very mattifying, more just like a very nice moisturizer. <laughs> in with my Le Camouflage Silo concealer. Just going to quickly set my face with the HD Loose Perfecting Powder. <laughs> And of course, we're glowing in with my blur powder. This has been my go-to combo for bronzer from Shantikai. I go in with the Radiant Gel Bronzer and then Serena. Just wait. And then I go right over top with Serena.
the cream and the powders play so well together and look beautiful on the skin. I've got my cheek palette. I'm gonna go into coral right here. I'm gonna grab the iCod gel pencil. This is a classic waterline eyeliner infused with soothing aloe vera that imparts dramatic definition to the eyes. Here she is. She's nice and creamy. Yes, she is. So I've got my Chantecaille eyeliner brush handy because we're gonna do a little wing and then just, you know, blend it, smooth it. Yeah. So I don't have to be too perfect when I'm applying because I'm going to use the brush. And then going in with the brush. And just smooth it. And you can also directly pick it up and apply. I like using a pencil to do wing liner sometimes because it's a little bit more forgiving and you don't have to always be super perfect. So if you're one to usually stray away from doing a wing because of that, there you go. Now let's see if I can match it up on the other side. <laughs> This is so soft and pretty, just perfect for every day. But let's do a little bit more. And I've got my refer number two brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna focus this right on the under eye. Still nice and soft and pretty, but just adds a little little extra something. Went in and applied this in the waterline to kind of just pull the look together. I'll quickly apply a couple of coats of mascara. This look is so soft and pretty. Just a little extra something from the green on the lower part of the eye. But this is so soft and pretty. So Chantecai, so wearable, so beautiful. Now before we go on and create another look, let's go ahead and try out these new lip cheeks. I'm gonna swatch them all for you. If you're unfamiliar with the lip cheeks, they are phenomenal, super hydrating, super comfortable and beautiful on your lips. They're described as glossy and lightweight. Smoothing Lip Chic is infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid for plumper looking lips that feel incredibly soft and nourished. Packaging 10 out of 10. We're gonna start off with this shade. This is the shade Lantana. So here's Lantana Swatch and Lanatana applied to the lips. Beautiful, magnetic closure. Next up we have the shade Red Juniper. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. This is pretty. Ooh. So the shade Ren Red Juniper right here swatched and then applied to the lips. Next up is the mask. Ooh, hello. I'm going backwards, aren't I? I'm getting the darker ones out the way. Let's give you a swatch of that.
The beautiful thing about these lip sheets is, okay, dark, but you can go in with a lighter application and keep it more of like a softer wash of color, or you can apply more and build it up. Let me show you. Softer, it's still a darker shade, but it's a lot softer. You see? Now, let's build it up. These are so comfortable on your lips. Yes! Packaging is so pretty. I love this purple combo. It goes well with the color. And we have Damask swatched and applied. So pretty, so pretty. The next shade, Jarul, Jarul, I think that's how you pronounce it. This beauty. Yeah, it's my type of tone. Let's give you a swatch. Yes, really pretty color, isn't it? They're all so pretty, oh my gosh, okay. This is so pretty, <laughs> this is so pretty, oh my gosh. So, so, so pretty. So again, here she is swatched, so comfortable on the lips, and applied this beautiful shade. And the last shade, Honeysuckle. This beautiful, beautiful shade. I'll swatch it right here. It looks similar to the Jarul color, but I feel Honeysuckle is just a little bit different in tone. But let's see. This is my go-to already. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. So honeysuckle swatched and applied. Now that we've got those lip chic lip swatches out of the way, I say that five times fast. <laughs> Let's go ahead and create another look. And we're back. So the only thing that I did different for base makeup is I added the shade Cheetah as my, my highlight. So let's go ahead and do a more dramatic look from these two new luminescent eyeshades. Going into the shade Tiger, and I'm using the refer number one, the more fluffy of the two brushes. Apply that all over the lid. Let me get close so that you can see. I'm using a more fluffy brush. These are more like an iridescent, sparkly type of shadows. Fallout? Who's that? So pretty. <laughs> so I cleaned off that refer number one brush. I'm going back into Leopard. And I'm gonna use that to softly blend the edges of this green shade. That's pretty. <laughs> but because I used Cheetah as my highlight today, I am also gonna use that as my inner highlight on the eyes. This is a refer number three brush. I got this little 
flat defining brush from Wayne Goss. It's a number seven. I'm gonna go into the green. And with my refer number three into the leopard shade. And then of course we're going into our pencil. We're gonna do a liner, but this time we'll make it a little bit more, not so soft like the other one. Taking that brush that we use, this is the Chantecaille eyeliner brush. <laughs> We're finishing up everything with a couple of coats of the Fossils Longest Lash Mascara. For lips, I'm going in with Honeysuckle. These luminescent eyeshades, <laughs> they are something special. You look at them and you think they're glittery, they're gonna be too much. But no, absolutely beautiful. And this is a green, a green that you'll want to wear. It paired beautifully when I placed it on the lower lash line for our other look, the more softer of the two looks. But overall, these two new luminescent eyeshades are very, very welcome in our growing <laughs> collection. I have, I think, two more that I need to collect to complete my little collection that I have going on. And we cannot forget to mention the beautiful Lip Chics. Great formula, very comfortable, very hydrating, wears well. It has the versatility if you get one of the darker shades. You can go in a little bit for a softer wash of color or you can apply more and build it up. Beautiful. And the packaging, they did good with the packaging. It's so fun. And let's not forget the eye cajol in black. A fun product to work with in creating our looks today. Absolutely beautiful collection from Chantecaille for Fall. I'll have everything listed and linked for you down below in the description box if you're interested in any of the products. Thank you Chantecaille so much for sending over this beautiful PR package and thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.